Cedric Baxter, he is down to his final four. He's making his decision August 10th, and he just tweeted out like 20 minutes 20 minutes before the show saying that he chose to do it on August 10th because that was when his childhood friend passed away. So he called it his childhood childhood friend's like birthday their birthday, that day, whatever. Um, so he's going to make the decision on that day. He is down to his final four. He has University of Miami, Texas A&M, Texas, and UF. I'm here in Texas, but they just got a five-star running back today. That should do us some favors. Um, look, uh, Rashada going to Miami, this is where when we talked about, remember when I said it, why it's big to land these guys because it's going to help generate some juice and some flow. That's to me kind of gives me a little bit of nerves. Um, in Texas A&M, they got that oil money out there in Jimbo Fisher. So who knows? But August tenth, market calendars. Be stay stay tuned and be locked in. Are right, you gonna say something? No, no, no. Uh, okay. This is your this is your spot, baby. Who else? All right, got? all right. Eugene Wilson, four star wide receiver. This is gonna be interesting here. Uh, a lot of these guys that I'm about to go over have Oklahoma in them, which is kind of crazy to me. I was kind of surprised how many Oklahoma guys. Yeah, I was a little nervous. So Eugene Wilson, four-star receiver. It's just between Oklahoma and UF. That's it. I believe his is July 28th. Don't, don't quote me on that, but I believe it's July 28th. Then we have uh, Keldrick Falk, D lineman, four-star. He's down to Auburn. Steve, shout out to you. FSU, Clemson, Ooh. and Florida. I love how he has two orange and blue schools, two SEC schools, and then a, two ACC schools. Um, he's 50-50 where he could go wrong. He could go to the ACC and just basically be a nobody. <laughs> I'm assuming you mean by... <laughs> oh man, what are you talking about? Like you mean like he can pick Florida State or Florida? The other schools, man. Yeah, I don't know where he, where we're feeling with him on that. Derek LeBlanc, though, I'm pretty sure he's heavy Florida. Like that, we've got we've got him uh, warm to us as of now. He's also four star um, linebacker, I believe. Um, he's also he is down to Penn State, Oklahoma, and UF. Oklahoma's in there again. Yep, again, flirting with us. Gosh, yep. they, they, you're not kidding. They really are just all over the place here. And then Samuel, uh, I'm going to butcher this last name, Samuel um, Omosayo, I believe, a four-star linebacker. The kid's fast. He's the number one linebacker in Texas, the state of Texas, and he's down to Oklahoma and UF. So there's a there's a couple of swings here where it's it could be, if look, I think if one falls, the other ones could fall kind of thing. Um, yeah. So that's good. And then obviously there was some big news two nights ago, Sharif Denson, the four-star out of Bartram. You know, Steve, I think we should try to go watch him. Uh, his senior year. We should definitely go try to see it and, and, and check him out at Bartram Trail this year. I think it's going to be a good time. Yeah, he's right so, down the road. Right down the road. Yeah, four-star. Uh, so, look, we're all hating on the recruiting, but I just gave you guys a slew of studs. All four-stars. No five-stars. Uh, but all four-stars. Not a three-star in there. Not a Butch. I saw some Butch Jones comments in there, Daniel Riviera, and this guy, Uncle Lou. I, Uncle Lou seems to have quite of a following. I'm going to address Uncle Lou's nonsense probably in, in another video, but he was comparing us to Butch, to Billy to Butch Jones, like basically three star U with when he was in Tennessee, uh, and, and basically being like a life coach, right? I guess they're claiming Billy to be a life coach, like oh, teaching these guys about, about that. Yeah, I forgot about that that quote that he made. Like, I don't, uh, I don't, I'm not worried about uh, wins. I'm worried about like uh, teaching men or something like that. Like, well, that's what everybody says when they're. Losing, losing. yeah, <laughs> yeah. I look. It's come on, guys. The guy's been like, how do we? How do we? I don't know. We're going. We're going too not too crazy too fast. But look, there's a lot of good news. A lot of exciting, exciting news um, with these four stars. So time will tell. These guys are all committing within the next month. So stay tuned. Keep your ear to the ground. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can stick up with it. Keep up with all of it. But before you go, make sure you guys check out this video right here. It's brand spanking new. It's shiny. It's beautiful. It's gonna be a great. It's gonna be a great one. I promise you. Make sure you like that video too. And also too, don't forget to to subscribe somewhere in this vicinity right here.